Hey guys, Tom here. How's everybody doing today? Sorry that I am so late on the uptake with um, my five most used for May. Um, it just, I was having an awful time deciding, so I brought um, a second nose in um, to help to see what they thought. So uh, here's just a little outtake of that. So, Spike, I know that we've talked about the Rahak Bakum before. I know that you do like this one. Um, he loves this. It's something about that almondy, powdery base. Um, he occasionally uh, will wear it when he goes out into the backyard, but for walks and things, he just, in the evening, he doesn't seem to go for it as much. Um, and then he loves Lumiere Noir. See, he just totally goes for this one. Um, he could smell it for hours on end. So I know that this would probably be in one of his top five. Um, and the, the Oud uh, is a definite plus for him. Um, because in the past he has, on occasion, picked up a couple of hot beagles uh, when wearing this. So you can just see um, his enthusiasm for it right off the bat. Uh, he just goes crazy for it. And he loves the sequence on the front. Um, but I don't know, it's just something with the Chanel that he doesn't seem to go for. I don't know if it was Coco and her communist leanings or what, but he won't even look at it. He just refuses to look at the bottle. So, Spikey the Chanel, is there anything I can do to convince you to at least look? He turns away completely when we talk about Chanel hates it. I do not understand. Spike, at least look at the camera. I know you don't like it. See? No go, guys. I'm sorry. Did anybody Did anybody see my scarf video? Um, I think it was part of the Ood 1 uh, video with the scarf thing and the pretentiousness. Mm -hmm. So I think you would probably get a more French feel, Spikey, if um, you wear the scarf when you smell the Chanel. That might be... might just give you more of a European flavor for it. No? Okay. No go, guys. One thing is for sure, if you wear this, if you wear Oud 1, you are going to get mad. Okay, so these were the five that I found myself uh, using the most um, for the month of May. That doesn't mean they're the five best in my collection. Um, some of them that are <clears throat> aren't even that great. They're just the five that I happen to spray the most. So here we go. Okay, coming in at number five, and um, I think I used this as much as I did because it was the newness of it that I just purchased it from their Navigations Through Scent series by Molten Brown. It is Londinium. Kick-ass bottle. Um, so if it doesn't have a lot else going for it, the bottle is awesome. It's kind of unique because it turns like this um, to actually spray. So you turn it and then give it a quick spritz. Um, the problem with this one is longevity uh, for me maybe two hours max, which is unfortunate because the note breakdown is awesome. On the top, it's bergamot and crisp berry. Uh, in the middle, myrrh and oak moss. And then the base is supposed to be incense and aged malt whiskey. I do not get the malt whiskey base. I get that at the top uh, for whatever reason. But the longevity is just bad on it. Um, maybe three hours at max, and it dries to... Uh, complete skin scent and after about five it's gone. What does help <clears throat> the Molten Brown uh, Suma Ginseng uh, and I've almost used all of it, shower gel. If you use that first um, it acts as a base for the fragrance um, and kind of lets it project a little bit more. This is an awesome bath gel. Um, the ginseng is actually uh, harvested from Brazil from the Amazon rainforest there. So 
Um, Molten Brown Londim Londinium, it's from their Navigations Through Scent series. This one's a little bit more pricey than the others in their series. It's based on travel, um, and this one is a limited edition. So that was my number five. At number four from the Les Exclusives collection uh, by Chanel, it is Kirerus. Uh, this is the Pure Parfum, uh, 0.5 fluid ounces, tiny, tiny bottle, um, but that is all you need, believe me. Um, this is the most concentrated version of the fragrance, and Oh my gosh, I actually accidentally spilled a drop of this on my counter in the kitchen and scrubbed and scrubbed and it was there two weeks later, um, even with soap and water. So just a drop on the pulse points and you're good to go. Um, it's a rich, woody, oriental leather. Marketed toward women, uh, I think it's perfectly wearable by either. Uh, it's from 1927. There's tons of history behind this one. Birch, Jasmine, Oriental Rose, Ylang Ylang. Um, so I'm going to do a review on it because of the history involved in its making and the classic nature of the fragrance. But that one is my number four. Coming in at number three from the house of Ray Kawakubo. And if you know my videos at all, you know um, what a CDG uh, freak I am and fan I am, uh, probably one of my favorite houses of all time, but this one is uh, CDG, <laughs> sorry, uh, from the Red Series, uh, Comme des Garçons, Palisander. Oh, love it, love, love, love. Um, Brazilian palisander wood, also um, known as Brazilian rosewood, uh, Virginia red cedar, um, Japanese red chili pepper, Iranian saffron, myrrh uh, from Yemen. Could it get any better? No. I absolutely adore it. And the thing that's so cool about the month of May is a lot of these fragrances um, that this month is versatile and or the month of May is versatile enough where you can wear some of the heavy, heavier woodier scents and some of the leather based scents but also warm days um, where it calls for some of the lighter fragrances so one of my favorite months number two Martin Mickey S Oud one is that bottle sexy as hell or what love it um weird because it is an oud uh based fragrance it kind of smells like a fruit salad at the same time and you think the two would be a weird combination it works it is awesome problem is that it's not available in the united states um so kind of tough to get but it is worth the search beautiful um, fruity, oody fragrance. That is. Drum roll, please. Number one. Opulent Shake Blue, number 77, baby. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. I love this. So sexy. It is just stunning. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful mix. Um, I've heard uh, comparisons um, to original Santal by Creed, and I can see that definitely. Um, uh, I think my friend Freeze uh, said it smells kind of like that, and I do see, see that. Um, I would say it's a sexier, more sophisticated uh, version of that. Perfect for, um, I would say, a cool evening out, but also I think it could be sexy during um, a summer evening when um, your body heats up a little bit. It's just the classic, beautiful, spicy gentleman's fragrance. Um, and this one I am just crazy about, and I did the unboxing earlier uh, for it. A lot of people watch that video. I'm going to do a full review on it as soon as I get a chance. Um, so that's my number one most used 
Form A. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I enjoyed making it. And I will talk to you soon. Have a good day. Spikey, come on, man. Bring back Boney. I'll, here's a bone if you bring back the Ood 1. Spikey, come in. Spike, leave that beagle alone. I hope you're using a condom. <laughs>